Hey guys, how's it going? I don't know if you've been trying to get a PS5 or some other item lately and you're just getting outbeat by these bots. I'm going to try to help you out today. I don't mean to be part of the prom, but I think that everybody should get a fair chance in technology nowadays. You know, it's just a faster way to check things out. So I'm going to show you how to use a bot here. This is one of the safer ones that I can find. It's not uh, server based, it is JavaScript based. I'm also going to cover some of the security things, the best way to install it, the securest way to use it. It's best to use a pre paid card and all extensions have a level of risk it's best to disable the extension if you're not using it um, I'll show you how to do that but it's good to use a prepaid card because that way if it ever gets compromised later on down the road it doesn't really matter because there's not much money on it if any after you've made your purchases I recommend using a prepaid card and I also recommend checking out as guest or logging into the site manually these bots I didn't write the code to them so that's just an extra layer of security I did look at the code I didn't see anything that stood out to me but I like everybody to be as safe as possible and I think that they'll work on Windows I'm not so sure about Mac but you'll need Windows and Chrome Links will be in the description to the bots, and you can purchase them. All my subscribers, you get all the bots for free. Stick around to the end of the video, subscriber. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first thing you have to do is extract the file that you get, and you'll right-click on it, so you'll go to the link, download the file, save it in a location where you can find it, right-click on the file, extract files. I'm just going to extract here. Then you'll open the folder, and if you just bought a single one, you'll see it here. This is the package, the Splinter Bits All Bots package, which contains all the bots. So you should be able to see it as a normal folder here. Then you go into your browser, and you have to be in Chrome. Click on Extensions go into developer mode turn that on load unpacked navigate to your bot I'm doing best buy here so this says best buy bot by most advanced bot will launch at system startup and continue to run in the background even once you've closed all other Google stuff so we're gonna turn this off when we're done using it for security purposes. So now it's on. Here's the details about it. You can read your browsing history and display notifications. Now allow this extension to read and change all your data on websites you visit. I'm going to change that to on specific sites. And I'm going to have bestbuy.com this is just extra security features that way this can only read the data and make changes on Best Buy site okay so it's on check that I did a specific site because I don't want it to be able to read and change all the data on every website I visit and now when I'm in Best Buy I click on this you can see and change it on this site but if I were to go to like Google see it does not have access to the site's data so right now I've just given it access to Best Buy now I click on it and here's the bot so let's just say I wanted to buy let's just say I wanted to get a TV now let's just say I wanted this one okay so let's just pretend we're gonna buy this TV here the website it does Canada or dot com dot CA or dot com I'm in the US I'm gonna do dot com actually I think my location is Toledo I just made this up for privacy reasons but as you can see I'm not signed in right now I'm gonna do it as a guest but you could do it as signed in so you can see your receipt and track your order better. You click on the Best Buy Bot extension that you've added. Go buy direct link, copy the link, paste that in here. I'm not going to add a warranty, sound alert after adding to cart. Sure, that's just going to make a noise on your computer. 
when it adds it to the cart. Check out on pre-order. Yes, if, if you can pre-order it, it'll also check it out. Store pickup, I'm not going to do that. Auto checkout, I want it to auto check out because I want to get it in my cart and buy it as fast as possible. I'm going to do guest checkout, but you could do no and you could log in. Use your site login stuff right here. I'm just going to do this as a demo. So I'm going to say yes, I'm going to do guest. Billing address, I just made some stuff up here. This is for demo purposes only. Um, you could say ship to billing address or you could ship to a different address. And a quick note before we go any farther, if you are logged into the site, whether it's Walmart or Best Buy, if you're already logged in, it has your information such as your credit card information and your address from previous purchases. So within the bot, you will not need to enter in your address or uh, credit card number. Those fields you could leave blank. You would just want to make sure you check the box that says ship to billing address. And then for the card, you still, whether you're logged in or not, want to make sure that you choose the right card that you're going to be using, the expiration date, and the CVV. It'll pull all the other information from the account because you're already logged in. For demo purposes, I'm just going to enter in the data into the bot and show you the process of how this goes through. You could enter into the bot if you want, or you can pre-log into the site. And take that into consideration as you're testing this that you don't accidentally buy something. I'm just going to say ship to billing address, payment info. Actually, I'll take the uh, I'll take the shipping address out. If I don't have shipping address stuff in here, I'll show you that it continues on through the program until it runs into an error. So let's just say this wasn't filled out. Just like I don't have credit card filled out right now. I'll show you what it does, how it works. Once I hit start, it'll continue on through all these steps. It'll enter this data automatically. And it will stop when it gets to the address part. <coughs> See how it went through that last checkout? It clicked as guest, but now because I don't have this information entered, it stopped here. If I had this information entered, it entered in here automatically. It entered in my phone number. If it'll continue through this page and enter it automatically, and it'll, it will continue to payment, and then it will actually pay. So let's do this again. Let me clear my cart here. Let me stop. This is how you stop the bot. You click on it, hit stop. So I'm going to remove this item. Now let's just pretend this was the page where you're trying to get a let's, item that's hard to get, like say a PS5. You go onto your bot and say you know in five minutes they're going to start allowing orders for it again. And right now it's unavailable. This is just an example, imagine this is unavailable right now, like it's the PS5, but you know in five minutes they're going to start allowing people to purchase them again. You want to be able to get it into the cart and purchased as fast as possible. You s fire up this bot, enter in direct link, paste it here, add warranty, you can if you want. I'm doing no. Keep in mind if you add a warranty it's probably going to cost more. I'm going to do a sound, allow checkout on pre-order. Now if I go back into this and go to my billing address, and we'll just use this data here. It's not my data. We'll say ship to billing address. Payment method, I'm going to leave it blank. This is how you'd pay. You could do either credit card or PayPal. If you do credit card, make sure you enter in the card number, the name on card, expiration and the CVV because if you don't enter in the CVV those three numbers on your card it'll stop there it won't it won't actually purchase it so if I start this now it should get all the way to the payment method but because I don't have anything it'll stop there if I had a card in here it would continue on and purchase it for me so let's hit start now it typically start refreshing here if it was something unavailable but it's available so it purchases it 
It goes to the next screen, it adds it to the cart, it checks out as guest automatically, it fills in the address information automatically because I have that in there now, but it stops here. It doesn't have a card because I didn't enter that in. If I would have entered my card, it would populate here and check out. Boom, I'd have it ordered. It'd click place order and I w I'd be done. So that's how you use the bot. And when you're done using the bot, for security reasons, you'll want to stop the bot so it doesn't accidentally buy another one. Once you stop the bot, you'll want to go back into your extensions. Manage extensions. And we'll turn this off and we will remove it. And now you don't have to worry about it doing anything more. And if you use the prepaid credit card, you made your purchase and maybe there's 50 bucks left on your card. Um, if an attacker did get your information some for some reason because you forgot to remove the extension and somebody was able to hack into it, or there's a vulnerability found later on in it, um, they'd only be able to use your card that you had on file and there's only so much funds in there. So you should be good. And that's how you remove it. Have fun. Enjoy. Please look in the description for the bots and how much they are. All subscribers, continue watching to see how to get this for free. Thanks a lot. Have a great day. So as you might know, I really appreciate my subscribers and I like to give back whenever possible. Um, the only way to be able to tell if someone's subscribed though is it has to be a public subscription. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. What you do is you go into your um, profile. You'll want to go log into your YouTube account. Click on your icon in the top right go to settings and then go to privacy or you turn this keep all my subscriptions private your subscriptions will not be visible to others you turn this off now what that's going to do is it's going to when your subscriptions are set to private no other user can see what channels you subscribe to your account does not show in the channel subscriber list even if you're subscribed when it's public, your subscriptions are set to public. Other users can see what channels you're subscribed to. Your subscriptions are listed on your channel page. Your account is listed on the subscribers list for any channel to subscribe to. Now, if you're concerned and you want that to be private, you can always go back in here and turn this off. But if you, if you want to get the bots for free, this needs to be off so that I'm able to see that you're a subscriber. And then just leave a comment in the bot video saying what address what email address you want the link to be sent to to where the bots are and i'll send that link to whatever address you say because i'll be able to verify that you're a subscriber and you can then come back in here after you get it and turn this off as soon as i send the link to you i'll i'll delete the comment with your email address if you're concerned about that email address being there just use a email address a new email address or an address a burner email address that you don't really use that much all right thanks again for subscribing and i hope you enjoy the spot if you have any questions let me know have a great day